This is something I'm sure you're very tired of talking about, mm. but you have two famous parents, Ugh. Lisa Bonet <laughs> and Lenny Kravitz. Yeah. And uh, I would imagine that as a result of that, when you're young, you meet famous people who yeah. you don't really, it doesn't, I don't know, maybe make as much of an impact as it would on, on most people because... It They're becomes normal. Your parents, friends, or whatever. Yeah. But is there any that did make? A, are there any that made a, a big impact on you as a young person? Yeah. Who? <laughs> Prince. Prince. That's a good one. <laughs> was he? Did, would he come over for meals or what? What was no, the deal? No, no, he wasn't around that much. I just met him a few times when I was a kid. Um, when I was quite young, and then I, I met him again when I was like 18 and had. Uh oh. <laughs> Why'd you say uh oh? Why do you think I said uh oh? Because I was 18. <laughs> and he's Prince. No, more because he's Prince. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's like, you're 18. <laughs> yeah, no. like, oh my God. But he wasn't. It was not like that at all. I think he just wanted a, a pal to hang out with. Um, yeah. I was in. I was... That's how I do it. You know, my friends, they're, when their daughters turn 18, I'm I like, just... hey, it's your pal. I hadn't just turned 18. I was, you know, I was fully you 18. You were fully 18. You know, okay. I was ready. No. <laughs> You were in the twilight of 18. Yeah, the dawn, the beautiful. So you were old. Really. Yeah, I was, I mean, I was, yeah, time, it was yeah. like my last year. So what happened? I'm sorry, I've oh, no, derailed this story. No, it's fine. Yeah. We've gone to a weird place. Yes, of course. Um, so, okay, I was 18. <laughs> and I was at a club, as you do when you're 18. And I was dancing, and all of a sudden, I feel someone tap on my shoulder, and I turn, and... You know when you don't expect to see someone in a in a place, you sometimes have trouble placing them. Yeah, processing. Yeah, yeah. So I see his face, or I see someone's face, and I'm like, I know I know this person. And I'm looking, and all of a sudden I realize, oh my god, it's Prince. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks at me, and he says, you know, hi Zoe, it's been a long time. Do you want to dance? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> okay. So we dance, and we hang out. And then I, I said, I'm going to go, you know, I got to go home. And he said, I'll give you a ride home. Oh, and so, geez. again, he's, I, oh, I just want to stress that really it didn't, he wasn't being, it wasn't hitting on okay. me. He was just, he was actually making sure I got home safe. Okay, all right, okay? all right. And so we go outside, he gives you a ride home. He has a, a white stretch limousine, as you, you do course, when you're a prince. Of course, yeah. And he plays me new music on a CD because this is back in the olden times. <laughs> and um, so he asked me what I'm up to, and I say, I'm doing this thing, and we're doing three more nights, the small theater in the Lower East Side. And anyway, so nice to see you, Prince. Thanks for the ride home. <laughs> By the way, I'm a huge Prince fan, so this is a very big deal in this moment. Yeah. So I go home, I probably cry out of happiness, and then I go the next day to the show. And I'm downstairs getting ready for the show, and my phone rings, and I pick up the phone, and it's from a blocked number. And someone says, hello, is this Miss Kravitz? And I say, yes. And they say, I'm calling for Prince. He'd like to know what time your show is tonight. And I'm like, what? Because <laughs> I didn't expect him to come. I was just telling him what was right. going on. So I tell him, I said, well, OK, wow, the show's at 8, and here's where it is. And the guy says, OK, I'm going to have to come to the theater and do a security check beforehand. And I say, OK, sure. <laughs> And so I tell everyone else in the cast, like, I think Prince is coming. Everyone's freaking out. He comes to the show. I see him in the audience while I'm singing a song. It's terrifying. Mm -hmm. And he left a little bit early, I think, to avoid people freaking out because Prince was the show. So, you know, I think that's it. And that's enough. You know, that's crazy. Yeah. And then, so the show's over, and my phone rings. <laughs> and I answer the phone, and it's, I wish I knew this guy's name. I feel bad, but it's this, the Prince. The prince guy. Prince's phone the prince's guy. Prince's phone guy. Yeah. And he says, hello, Miss Kravitz. And I'm like, yeah, hi, again. And he said, Prince would like to know what you're doing. Oh, boy. Yeah. And I say, oh, OK. We're at the after party <laughs> for our show. And he's welcome to come, of course. And here's where it is. And he said, I'm going to have to come and do a security check. <laughs> and I said, OK. It's, just, it's kind of just a bar, but yeah. So. Sounds like this guy just wanted to get out of the house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's like, please. <laughs> so then um, Prince comes to the after party, and he is just 
I love Prince, it's amazing. He's just monopolizing my time. Uh -huh. He's just, <laughs> he is just requiring all of my attention. Right. Which is, again, fine, you're Prince, but I also want to hang out with my friends and the people who are there. And so, now I'm just kind of like, oh, Prince, you know, <laughs> please, just chill out, man. And eventually, he, at one point, he went to the bathroom. He asked me where the bathroom was, and I show him. And he comes back, and he says, I just saw the most beautiful woman coming out of the bathroom. And I'm like, yeah, that's cool. You should go, you should talk to her. Mm -hmm. And he said, it was an amazing moment. And I said, really? What, what is, who is she? she? He said, she walked out, and she looked at me, and I looked at her, and it was this moment. And it felt like that moment in Purple Rain have you seen Purple Rain? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, Prince, uh, yeah. I've seen Purple Rain. He was referencing... He was uh, referencing his own film. His own, yeah, yeah his self, he yeah. Was. And it was like, it was that moment where we see each other and it's crazy. And, um, and so I, I'm like, I have to find this girl. This girl has to talk to Prince so that yeah. Prince will leave me alone. So I find the girl and I actually have a friend that knows the girl and I, they end, I end up, you know, Prince, this is this girl. And, and I think they ended up really hitting it off and... I think they even left, and I watched them leave, they did. and of I was like, "Oh, finally, Prince is gone." <laughs> <laughs> wow! See, even Prince can be an annoying he uncle. Was a annoying. <laughs> God rest his soul. But only in that moment, and I love Prince. Just to be very clear, I mean, he's well. Really yeah, crazy. obviously, he loved you too. <laughs> it's crazy to see you. The movie is called Ken. It opens the theaters on August 31st. Zoe Kravitz, everyone. Thank you, Zoe. If you like that video, click subscribe and we'll be together until one of us dies.